Okay, so I think when we first found out that Bertha Park was going to be a, a digital school, I think we felt in IT that we were quite prepared for it because we have iPads in other schools and interactive display panels in other schools, so it wouldn't be a problem. I think when the head teacher decided that uh, he wanted to use iPads as one-to-one -one devices, that suddenly presented a whole new challenge for us. So I think one of the first areas that we had looked at was the infrastructure, and probably in particular the Wi-Fi coverage. So I'll let Derek kind of uh, describe a little bit about that. Yeah, so the design of the Wi-Fi was, was a big challenge for us because it made us completely rethink how we deployed Wi-Fi in a school. Before we'd look at our coverage model, where there wasn't many devices, but Bertha Park come along with the one-to-one -one device ratio, we had to rethink that. So we worked very closely with the manufacturers of the wireless equipment. We went through the design process, confirming it different stages along um, the way, and we've got what we have today. Um, the school seemed to be very happy with it. We haven't had any reports of issues, which in many cases no news is good news, and it, it seems to be doing what we want it to do. Um, the design itself, um, we had to make sure it was going to accommodate the initial intake, but also make sure that as and when the new intakes come on year on year, it's going to be able to withstand additional devices and give the same performance across the board for every user. So, I mean, it basically began with uh, getting the kind of the remit from the staff, what Stuart wanted as well, and the, the apps, trying to get everything sorted out again. We kind of worked closely with the uh, people who um, supply our mobile device management system and to try and integrate some of the Apple stuff, which we'd never really worked with before. So it was just a kind of a new a learning curve for us as well, um, to try and uh, integrate the apps that they were wanting, and also to kind of be able to, um, uh, to kind of uh, apply the apps uh, that they were wanting uh, to the iPads, um, but also the, the, the amount of them as well, which was a bit of a challenge. Uh, obviously there's maybe 10 gig or so being uh, put down to each iPad every time, so for building the iPads, uh, which I think we spent quite a lot of time doing yeah. as well, um, and continuing to do as well. Um, but the network's obviously really helped with uh, that and the, the kind of back end infrastructure as well, so it's been quite good. Uh, so I think, the, you know, to kind of summarise, I think the, the pressure and the publicity around Bertha Park, because it's a new school and it's very much a digital school, it put a lot of pressure on us as an IT department because we absolutely had to get it right from day one. Uh, we wanted it to be the best experience for the staff and the pupils. So as soon as they came in that door, everything was working. And I think we can confidently say that we uh, definitely kind of delivered that. Mm -hmm. And certainly in the future, if PKC was to use the same model across other schools, I think we'd certainly be more, more prepared for it. Yeah. It's really good. The technology here is amazing. All the opportunities we get are really good. I think it's way better than my primary especially because in primary we had jotters that we had to carry about everywhere and having an iPad it's all in one place so it's easier and you know it's easier not to forget things. I like using Microsoft Teams because it's easier than going to your teacher at lunchtime and asking them a question you can instead you can just do it at night time or in your spare time instead of oh, when you're actually doing your homework so it's a lot easier to get in contact with your teacher. I like OneNote because all your work's right there, the teacher just posts it straight to you and it's right in front of you. One of the main advantages of having a one-to-one -one device policy at Bertha Park High is the equity of of, of opportunity for everybody so we all have the same device um, and it's right the common right across the board that they have the same tools to be able to use to express their learning and to engage in that so what we're hoping to do is act as a test bed for Perth and Ross Council and for everybody to use the lessons, good and bad, that we've learned from Bertha Park High and perhaps look at rolling them out over the next few years across the estate should they be proven to be successful. The majority of the pupils haven't actually used many forms of digital learning before coming to Bertha Park High, so it was all completely new for them, but they've adapted to it really, really well. Being digital natives means that they're absolutely at home being in the digital realm, 
but all of the learning that they participate in, or the vast majority of the learning they participate in, is based in the, in the digital realm. So we use Office 365 and the whole Microsoft suite uh, to be able to provide that learning opportunity for them. Our virtual learning environment is Microsoft Teams, and closely related to that is Microsoft OneNote. And all the processes that they have during the school time, all the resources that the teachers generate, are all available in OneNote to the pupils 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, anywhere that's got a, a, an internet connection and they do all of their homework and submit it all in the digital realm. They're taking to it really, really well. It's very motivating, it's more fun for them to do and it makes the teacher's job that little bit easier. This morning's been fantastic, seeing Betha Park and uh, you know hanging around with Mr Clyde, the head teacher here. I think that there's so much we can learn from across the whole of the partnership of how to do things digitally in a, uh, a new school. I think the, the beauty of this has been a brand new school build with rules being challenged of traditional ways of working. Um, I would love to see how we could actually retrofit a lot of the learning from this, this school into other schools across the whole of Scotland. I think that the whole ethos and culture here to teach the young people about new ways of working, to get them prepared for the modern workspace, especially in the digital world, is fantastic. The way they're using Microsoft Office 365 and its tools, so there's no email here, they're using Microsoft Teams, um, just as we do in digital office. Um, the way they're using OneNote for virtual jotters, the way they're using Apple um, iPads, and you know, statistically they've only had a couple of breakages, which is fantastic. Again, that comes back down to trusting the individual with the piece of kit. I think a great thing to learn today is the adoption of Scottish Approach to Service Design, though I don't think they actually knew they were doing Scottish Approach to Service Design. So going around the primary schools for the intake for the school um, for 12 months, understanding what mattered to the children, understanding what mattered to the parents, having consultation with the parents. Now you can't please everybody with everything on that list, but getting the key themes to actually build this school has been phenomenal. I think also having um, virtual reality headsets to show the young people what the school's going to look like when they get in, not only just excites, but gives them that sense of, of trust that of where they're going to go, which helps with that kind of first day nerves coming into first year in a secondary school. The future for Bertha Park High School is really, really exciting. We're about to embark on a whole load of new recruitment and building our teacher body up. So it's going to be a really exciting time, making sure everybody else is on this digital journey with us. And of course, we'll be getting new pupils in over the next few years and building our school that way. We're looking at expanding our digital expertise to include things like virtual reality and augmented reality and get even better at the things that, that we're doing at the moment and really taking it in a way that the, the pupils are directing us. They'll let us know what they're enjoying interacting with and we'll just make the best of that and make it a whole new, exciting um, and motivating digital learning experience.